this is Rob here from robcoven.com. Just going to show you how to put a featured image in a WordPress site. Um, here the objective is to create uh, logos for every time the company gets a new client. And in order to put another logo there, you need to go into the WordPress back end, uh, which you start typing the name of the site and then forward slash WP dash admin in order to go into the back end you'll have to put your uh, username and password then under posts you want to add new in order to create a new WordPress post um, and uh, that the posts are the chronological a dynamic part of WordPress as opposed to the pages which are the static parts uh, pages of the WordPress site. Um, you enter your title Firefly endorses question one. Uh, enter the text of the page obviously For this particular post, we have to click the clients category, um, but that doesn't isn't dependent on featured images usually. Just in this case, click set featured image, and you get the set featured image pop up box pop up. And then all you have to do is obviously you just click select files and find the file you want to put in there. In this case, it's a logo and WordPress will then upload the logo. Don't worry about this crop of the featured image. We'll um, sort that out later. Um, put in your title Firefly logo and add that as the alt text as well. Get rid of the link URL because you don't need that as a featured image and then most importantly here at the bottom click use as featured image and then close the set featured image pop-up box and now your featured image is there attached to this post and then you click publish now go back to your site update and here you have another logo before the one and if you click on that logo that goes to the post about that particular company. So that's how you um, set a featured image. In order to create it to get it work to get it to work you need to put something in your theme functions file in your theme. Um, first of all add theme support post thumbnails that means that you're getting the featured image um, option up on the posts and the pages. You also need to set post thumbnail size. Um, usually that's all you'll do. You, usually it's a square size, uh, 150 by 150. Um, in this particular case I've gone for different dimensions as their logos. I've also had to add this line in as well. Um, as logos are particularly difficult to um, size. Uh, in, other, in all other cases you really just need a square or landscape shape for your featured image and WordPress will crop the image and it will usually be fine. Now in order to get it to uh, appear in the, uh, in the site somewhere uh, I've put this particular one in the footer but it doesn't have to be uh, there's just a quick loop here um, which is showing five posts from a specific category. You remember I specified a category at this point. You don't have to do that at all. It's just for this site. Um, and then there is the loop of five posts and here is the post thumbnail, meaning it uh, calls the, the thumbnail in. And... Um, of course I've got that bigger image 
there, which is just particularly for this example, but it need, PHP, the, the post thumbnail, will do nine times out of ten. All of this is wrapped in a div called thumbnail, which um, sets a bit of padding around all of the logos. So, this has been Rob from robcoven.com. I hope you enjoyed that. If you would like to leave a comment or um, like the video or tweet it or um, promote it in any way, I'd be very grateful. But for now, goodbye.